This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hey, I'm Jinx Farmer. We're on my little farm today. Um, it's the first week in February. We're going to look at plants that you can cut and divide and replant. So we're looking at ways that you can make new plants from old plants. The first thing we're going to do is a unique food crop called Jerusalem artichokes. And what else? Oh, some ornamental plants like canna lilies, German iris, day lilies, and crinum lilies. See all the artichokes on the bottom of this? Um, these are Jerusalem artichokes. They're ready to eat, and we um, actually harvested a lot of them last year. You can um, see a video on how we make artichoke relish at moreplants.com but we leave enough in the winter so that we have starts for the following season so there's one group let's see if we can get another group it's kind of hard to know you know which one's going to actually have chokes on it but yeah that one has enough there oh yeah yeah i just left the choke down there so now we have the chokes dug and we're going to take them somewhere a little more pleasant to sit and cut them up each one of those will grow so we can go from this little group of artichokes in one season to like a whole row I happen to have a little grafting knife but any kind of knife will work we're just gonna cut like that and you see I've got a nub there or an eye lots of them on that lots of them on that I can cut this on down into various pieces and then as they're um, gonna need a couple days to dry you want this to heal over for say three days I'm just gonna put them back in my box we'll close it up with all the pieces and let them dry up okay I got these seed potatoes at the garden center and I'm going they need to be cut to be planted so that they'll make more plants these are potatoes that came from the uh, grocery store and they it's probably not good to plant them because they probably have a growth hormone on them and probably would not grow as good as the ones that are uh, especially for planting. You normally want to cut a potato to plant. Um, normally I just kind of cut them in three or four pieces but you just want to make sure you have uh, you know two to three eyes in each piece. Um, so we got on this piece right here you've got three eyes it can grow from you know any of these any of these three points um, and around here in, uh, in zone 8 you normally plant them um, around Valentine's Day so they've dug these trenches and they put a little um, manure down in there just to stimulate the root growth and hay you're putting hay down in mm -hmm. and now what and then we'll plant the potato or set the potatoes with the eyes up down in the trench about what 12 inches apart yeah about 12 inches apart and then cover them just slightly cover them just a little bit right now and the main reason we put it down in the trench is because as it continually grows up more and more will bring more and more dirt down around the stem and it'll promote more root growth from the stem and more potatoes okay and so you can do the same thing with potatoes the Jerusalem artichokes that we looked at cutting earlier and now we're gonna go look at um you can do canna bulbs this way crinum bulbs there are lots of ornamentals daylilies you could do this way basically anything that has a little eye today we're gonna look at some giant crinum lily bulbs that are being divided so um it's kind of the same process though we've got some big clumps and I'm with Eric Healy at Moore Farms in South Carolina. He's going to show us what he's going to do with this clump of crinum Bradley. So we just dug this clump up and I'm going to try to get some of the soil off it to see what I'm doing. Normally if it wasn't 27 degrees we'd hose it off but as you can tell it's a little cold this morning. So then I'm just going to kind of gently start to pull and tug and see if, if these will start to break loose. There's one, two, and you can kind of tell if it's, if you, once you pull on a little bit, if it's not going to come, then you probably it's best to leave it. But once you get the first couple, then they start to come pretty easily. 
So then what we're doing with them um, for the division is planting them with daffodils. And one crinum secret is that crinum bradley uh, needs to be planted very shallow. So you can see it's um, just like a couple inches below the soil. It's the same process. We're looking, um, when, we, when we cut or divide these, we're looking for a growing point, which is kind of similar to the eye. The only difference is on these, we already have the root system developed. On the potatoes and the chokes, that system's going to develop once you put it in the ground. Thanks, Evan, my mom, Eric, everybody that helped me make the video. You can find our crinum lilies and some of the other bulbs that we grow that we propagate this way at jinxfarmer.com.